Hi, it's Sarah Littlefield with William Ravis Real Estate. I'm here with Nicola Tarzia, and he's going to explain to us a little bit about what a builder's looking for in terms of a project here at 20 Stanton Road, what a custom client can do here as well. First of all, um, Nick, as you've seen, the area is really um, gorgeous one plus acre lots for the most part. This is the largest level lot here on Stanton Road. And um, can you explain to us a little bit of when you're looking for lots for spec homes, what you're looking for? What we like to look for is a nice open lot like you have. It's very nicely, gently graded away from the house. So it's grading, it's almost level, but it grades perfectly. Mm -hmm. And you have great mature trees here, which are nice. So it can utilize and salvage a lot of the trees that are still on the property. So it's a, mm -hmm. a really, very nice lot, perfect. So Nicola, thank you for your, your exterior ideas. Look forward to getting some more interior ideas from you as well. Let's go on inside. So we're at the front door and what would you do? I know this is such a key entry point um, for at the front door here to bring on your guests as well as your family. Well, the front door of a house, especially a house like this, is the main focal point. When we do the portico, we could either do a portico with a gable front or we could do a portico with a sort of an eyebrow, you know, gentle sweeping portico, which, mm -hmm. which incorporates the, the porch here. So Sarah, we're standing in the existing dining room. This would be a great sitting room or gallery here mm -hmm. that would lead you into the formal dining room. Mm -hmm. And you would still be able to utilize this fireplace, have a nice sitting room or a gallery or walkthrough or formal area that leads into the dining room. So we're in the kitchen now and um, can you share some of your ideas here in terms of a renovation in the well, kitchen? Well Sarah, what's great about this kitchen is as we walk in through the front door, I just noticed we could put the dining room over there by the front door mm -hmm. and have a, a formal living room there mm -hmm. and take a look at this kitchen. You have a nice um, small fireplace mm -hmm. and this kitchen is still in a great location because it's near the driveway and we could have a mudroom over there and a good entrance. So we can have mud room and locker rooms and storage that way mm -hmm. coming in off the garage Perfect. side of the house. Okay, Sarah, so now we're down on the south end of the house, which is all the way on the left side of the house. Mm -hmm. So now we're in this big bonus room here. But if we renovate this house, this room could be utilized as a master suite with the master bedroom being in this room. And, that, and now you would have a closet and bathroom in front of the house. Mm -hmm. And being on the south side, we have a lot of sun. Or second mm -hmm. option would be that we can utilize this as a library sunroom and we still can utilize this porch area out there as a walkout porch. Nick, so we're in this extra wide hallway and of course the staircase is off the mudroom, the back staircase. Mm -hmm. What would you suggest in terms of a main staircase if you wanted to utilize the 5,500 square feet? This house has a tremendously wide hallway here in the center of the house and deep rooms front to back. So that allows us to have a staircase wherever we want. The staircase could be a circular staircase or a gentle sweeping staircase that comes down at both sides. So it's still a tremendous feature. Great, thank you.